What's going on guys, AJ Brack here, wanted to talk to you guys about the BCD 396XT and how to program your uh, digital scanner, this type of scanner. First of all, when you go into the scanner, if you get it brand new, you're going to turn it on, it's going to say scan mode, nothing to scan, obviously because there's nothing in the scanner. So the left of your scanner, there's a menu button right here, there's a function in the menu, you're going to click that menu button. It's going to bring you to a menu with all kinds of stuff that you can choose from but right now we're going to click on the program system with the e down here that says yes program system it's going to bring you to a menu that says new system you're going to click that it's going to give you all types of different programs you have p25 Motorola, edcs you have lt you have conventional just with, with whichever one you're comfortable with and that you think that you're city or county or department or whoever is on that system you can pick either any of them right now we're going to program a p25 system so we're going to click yes again go on to p25 there's a standard trunk and a one frequency trunk i always use the standard trunk that's what's worked for me but obviously standard means regular so i i've never really known what the one frequency trunk is but if you're just looking to go in just for regular P25 system and you're on a regular system then you're going to click standard trunk so you're going to click yes again it's going to ask to confirm you're going to click yes again now you have your system you're able to edit the name you're able to edit system option you're able to edit the site edit the group copy system or delete the system the first thing we're going to do we're going to go down to edit site there and we're going to click yes again we're going to click new site after that, it's going to give you options to add the site name. So we had the system name. Now we're actually into the site, the P25 site system. You can add the name, quick key, startup key. gives you all kinds of things that you can add to. You can add your location down here. We're going to go back up. The first thing that that the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to go down here to set quick key. We're going to click yes. Right now. My quick key is on about basically what this is is this is let this allows your scanner to pick up any type of frequency or TGID. It, it allow it, it's basically turning on the system so you can actually hear what you want to hear. So you're gonna go down, you're gonna set your quick key for your site to one. Now that's there. We've set the quick key to one. After quick key, it'll take you out of there, and we're gonna go down to set frequency. We're going to click yes again. You're going to click new frequency. After this, this is where everyone gets confused. I recommend radioreference.com. If you have somewhere else where you can get your site frequency, then that's fine. But I recommend radioreference.com. I'm going to let you guys take a look here. Here on radioreference.com, it's going to give you an option. It obviously has all kinds of frequencies, and this is where people get confused. I'm in Russellville, Arkansas, right here. Russellville, Arkansas, my county is Polk County, Arkansas. Look it up if you want. <laughs> here is our frequencies. This is what we're going to put in what we just went to. So we have our frequency right here, our, our site frequency, our input frequency. These are all of your input frequencies. So I'm in Russellville, Polk County. My, my control frequency, that C right there, the red C is for control. The red frequency is my control frequency. So my control frequency is 769.6875C. Don't worry about putting the C in. You, all you have to do is just put the numbers in. So 769.6875. So here in my scanner, I am going to put in 769.6875. Matches 769.6875. 769.6875 right there. After that, you're going to click yes. Processing. And your system, your site frequency is in there. That's ready to go. That powers the actual TGIDs that we'll talk about here in just a second. So after that, you're going to go back. You can press the menu button to go back. We're going 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 to go back. So we're back out here. You know, so we're just going to start a little fresh. We're back out here to program system. You're going to click yes again. You're going to go to system one. This is the system that you just created. You're going to click that. After you're in the system, you're going to go down here. See how we were just here at edit site. You're at edit site. Below edit site is edit group. 
Now we're going to actually edit our groups and put our actual TGIDs in. New group. It's going to bring that up. Yes, again. Process, please wait. Here, now we're, we've made the system. We've made the site. Now we're in the group. First thing we do, set quick key. We're going to set our quick key under our site to one for our group. Okay. Now while we're in the group, we're going to go to edit channel. Oh, we're going to go to edit channel there. Edit channel again. This is the confusing part because everyone thinks that digital runs off of regular frequencies like 123.456. No, we're going to be running off of TGIDs off of radio reference. So here, we're at Arkansas Wireless right here. We're going to scroll down to Pope County. Underneath this, you have all kinds of TGIDs. So I'm going to scroll down to Pope County, Arkansas. That is my county. When you actually get into your state, you go down and you find your county. Here I am here. Polk County, Arkansas. These are my TGIDs, my, my decimals. If you have a different kind of scanner, or maybe your scanner for some reason is set for hex, that's your hex number right there that it might ask you for. But here we have input TGID, DEC, DEC. And then we have DEC right here. This is what you're going to input. So 42810 RFD fire dispatch. That's restful fire dispatch. So right there, I'm going to put 42810. So from there, when I put my TGID in, 42810. 42810. 42810 right there. After that, we are going to click yes. And there is my first channel that I put in. You can edit the name if you want to. I could just here to delete it. You could press no right here twice. And I could put RFD dispatch in here if I wanted to. But I'm not going to do that right now. It takes too much time. So from there, I can add a new channel. I can go down and add a new channel if I want to. From right there, TGID DEC. Back here. Um, Russellville Police Department. Also on radio reference, you can see here, you can just flash over it with your mouse if you want to. Look at your modes right here. You have A for analog talk group, D for digital talk group, M for mixed analog and digital. You have E for encryption talk group. You have T for TDMA, T, TDMA uh, capable talk group. And you have X for analog encryption talk group. So right here, two... 42800 police dispatch. It has an E right through this, so that means it's encrypted. If I wanted to put that in there, 42800, go back to my scanner here, 42800, and it's there. Press enter, and you got it. So that is basically how you program your BCD 396XT digital scanner. After I'm done putting my stuff in, scan. And I am scanning. My sight frequency is right there, 769-6875. My sight is 1 slash 1P25. And there you go. See if we can get a little bit. There we go. We have a uh, units going to a medical call right now. So, but if you have any questions, leave a comment on below. Leave a comment below and. I will try and answer any questions that you have. Thank you, guys. Hope you enjoy the video. Thank you, Dan. Site 2015 will fail to appear.